Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Red Tree Man, and we are back with Dark Souls. Last time I, well, I beat Havel Knight on level 11. I have since taken the souls I won from him, now I'm level 13. With 19 dexterity, I put one into endurance. 19 dexterity, and I put one into endurance. Um. Just for your information, since I will be doing solely no armor and focusing most just a thief's armor, focusing everything in de in dexterity in uh, dexterity. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's good to in put stuff into endurance too. The reason we want to do that is because we want to try and max our dex max our dexterity out, or at least get to the soft. The soft ceiling of the dexterity so that we're maxing our d damage for this weapon or the dagger any dagger we have out the soft ceiling by the way is 40. after that it's drastically the the efficiency that the uh the give back for the level is drastically reduced after that so we are human fied we have two humanities we uh we picked up from killing hollows in our soft uh soft stock and i have a i have the uh sacrificial ring the miracle ring of sacrifice that I picked up getting back to here and just because i have it i'm wearing the havel ring it does increase my load efficiency my wearing my weight efficiency so it does make me faster but i have an idea and this idea may be very stupid but i think it's really cool because we can do it now. We have technically can theoretically do it now. But to do that, we have to be back at Fireling Shrine. So through the magic of editing, you will see me there in just a second. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And the reason I need to be back here is because I want to go fight a particular boss first before I do anything else. And that is Pinwheel. If you are not new to the game, if you've played it for a while, if you've played it a little while, or you're a longtime veteran, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're new, Pinwheel's a certain boss in this game. He's the easiest boss in the game. He's an insanely easy to beat, actually. Even at a low level, he may be difficult to... He, he's got some toughness on him. He may take some hits. And... But he's, his attacks are easy to dodge. They'll, they'll give you a wallop, but they're easy to dodge. No, but what makes it easier is if you're humanified, like you're not hollowed, you're human, you can get a phantom to help you if you know where to look for the phantom. And the phantom just makes it 100 times easier two, three hits from the Phantom, boom, he's dead. The hard part is getting to Pinwheel, though, because he's in an innately, well, difficult area. You, you have to go through the catacombs. So, let's see if I can do this, shall we? It's a good thing I have the Ring of Sacrifice, right? Right? Right. And that's a shield that's basically worth nothing, so don't worry about it if you see me. Like, why didn't you get that before? Because it's not worth anything.
Ring of Revival. Those buggers won't make this. And... <clears throat> That little guy we kill just then, he makes it so if we don't kill him, the skeletons will keep being revived. So they're not immortal anymore. And due to our ring of revival, we we got off of that scot free. It's a pretty nifty ring to have, to be honest. Are they rare and hard to find? Yes. Are there multiples of them? Yes, actually there are. Is it usually worth to have worth having them? No, it's more of a crutch than anything, so don't. Why did I do that? Run, 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 run. Seriously, run. I goofed this already. This is goofed. Okay, I was going to try and do this without having to light this bonfire, but that's a no-go. Sit, 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 Okay. I haven't sit at it yet. It might require me to sit at it, though. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, arrogance for the fall. Are we going to go back again? Are we, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, we are. I can do it. I'll have to burn a humanity. Ow. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it. We're gonna have to set up the bonfire, so that sucks. Okay, and that resets those skeletons. Pick that pick you up. Push you. Reverse hollowing. Yes, because we need to be human to do what we're about to do just in case let's level up dexterity boom okay now what do we do next we just run yes that's really all we do we don't even bother fighting we're going to attempt not to interact with any... Oh, no! Okay. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part. Okay, do I have any humanities? Okay. Use a humanity. I know. What are you thinking, man? But it, I've, if I want to do this, I've got to do this. Look at all the bugs. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Oh, good. It's right there. This actually helps us.
Okay. Now, is this where we jump off? It is. Okay. Now, we want to kind of go this way. This, this could get spicy. Oh, yep. Nope, 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 nope. St stand in here. Okay. Now. No, 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 that's too far. <sighs> you can... Okay. One more. I can do this as many times as, as I have humanities on hand to reverse my hollowing. Okay. I am really eating up humanities, but if I can do this, it'll be so cool. I always, I always enjoy doing this challenge. If I feel up for it. Okay, I should have enough health, jump, I do, dodge roll, oh sweet mama, yeah, she's really useful, Takes care of that skeleton right now. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. Whew. Okay. And Estus flag up. Summon you, Paladin Lin. Okay, we just wait around for a second. He, uh, summoning Phantom. Paladin L Leroy. So we go this way now, and don't worry, he will follow. Just a dodge everything. Don't let them hurt you anymore, and Leroy should take care of the pinwheels. We just lose. No, we're fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Fabulous. Don't worry about the pinwheels. Go this way. Lean Leroy will follow us. Uh, I'm going to skip this cutscene. Yep, skip cutscene. Da, 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 da. Just stay out of the way, let Leroy take care of everything. And there we go. It's easy as that. And we have the right to kindling, which means we can kindle bonfires, make them stronger. I'll give any homework bone for that. What mask did we get? Mask of the child. Oh, not my favorite. And we're going to use a homeward bone now. We are going to kindle this bonfire because, it, to be honest, it'll be a pivotal one for later.
And I'll meet you by, guys back at the Firelink Shrine. Give me just one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is Pinwheel and the Catacombs. With this uh, spirit of right of kindling, I can now start sacrifice a humanity at a bonfire. And I will be able to kindle it bigger to make it so I have more Estus flasks, for instance. For the heck of it. I always like to keep one on me. Yeah, I know. I'm a glutton for humanities. But the reason I keep one on me is because it allows me to... Uh, it increases drop rates of things like humanities off of rats, titanite shards off of hollows. But, uh, kindle. Kindle this. And there we go. Oh wait, did we not need to use the human? Yes, we did, we did. Okay, so now I have 15 Estus flasks. Mind you, humanities are kind of hard to come by sometimes, and farming them is not easy. So do this sparingly. Do this sparingly. Okay, I am H. Red Tree Man, and this has been Dark Souls. See you guys around. Subscribe, like, and share the video. See you guys around.